You ever wonder why people snack when they get stressed out? We're going to answer the question today. The hormone that is triggered by stress is called cortisol. Cortisol is a glucocorticoid. What that means is that it's a hormone that has a function of regulating blood sugars to a certain degree. And specifically, when your blood sugars drop down and you get low blood sugar, cortisol is released. And then cortisol helps your body turn or convert protein, fat, or ketones into sugar. This is called gluconeogenesis. Gluco meaning sugar, neo meaning new, and genesis meaning making something or creating something. So your body is making new sugar, not out of carbohydrates, but by non-carbohydrate sources. This happens in the liver. All right, let's look at this chart right up here. You go through stress, you raise cortisol. Cortisol releases sugar. Now we have a spike in blood sugar, right? Becomes higher. Insulin kicks in, it gets triggered by the glucose, and it pushes your blood sugar downward into the lower range, hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugar. That's going to cause you to crave carbs, make you hungry, and want to snack. You'll snack, it starts raising blood sugar again, and the whole cycle starts again. And so there's two things that trigger cortisol. One is stress. And the other is hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. So you can kind of look at stress as eating sugar to a certain degree. And when you eat sugar, you have cravings for sugar. When you have stress, you have cravings for sugar. Same symptom, two different triggers. Now, the other thing about stress is it really lowers your willpower. I mean, try to have willpower when you're hungry all the time and when you're craving and when you're stressed and you're overwhelmed, all you're thinking about is getting relief and relieving the pressure. So I have some tips for you. Number one, never, 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 never ask yourself, hmm, what am I in the mood for tonight? Because your body, if your blood sugars are lower, are not going to give you the right information. Okay, so don't ask that question. Number two, Ignore your body when it demands these refined carbs and sugars. I mean, think about this. If you have kids and you brought your hungry child to the grocery store, first of all, they are going to demand some sugar, right? Because it's all over the place. You got candy bars, you have aisles of snack foods, all these things. And you're going to have one stress on your hands, especially if you stop that child from getting what they're demanding. I mean, kids just don't have that judgment. They pretty much want what their body is telling them. If it's craving sugar, they're not going to be able to step back and have judgment. Oh, I think I'll have a salad. Um, unfortunately, I wish they did, but they don't. And so the attitude you really need to have when you have cravings is, uh, nope, body, you're not going to get anything now. I'll tell you when you're going to eat and it's going to be health foods. It's not going to be that sugar. Next point, stick to low carb because as soon as you start carbs, the more you want it, and now you're in the trap, the roller coaster trap. Number four, take a lot of B1. Nutritional yeast is a good source. What is that going to do? It's going to drop your stress. You're going to feel better. You're going to reduce cortisol. All right, number five, this is the bonus tip, no extra charge. MCT oil, it's a good fat to take through the day if you're having troubles because it turns into ketones pretty fast. And also if there's glucose in the blood, the brain is going to pick ketones over glucose. It prefers ketones, so it's gonna give you energy. And the other thing you can do is you can buy tallow capsules. Yeah, it's actually beef fat in little capsules. You can buy them online and you can consume those through the day if you need to. Now, what is that going to do? First of all, tallow has a certain amount of nutrients and fat that's very satisfying. It will decrease 
hunger and it will not increase insulin. Now in past videos, I talked about eating anything of certain calories can increase insulin. But I recently found some really great research that says if you're consuming pure fat, it's not going to increase insulin. So that's very, very good news. And these fat pills, literally, tailo, which is beef fat, could really help someone get through a rough time. Instead of, you know, consuming those chips, swallow a couple fat pills, and boom, you're good to go. So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.